What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today we are talking about using tape diagrams to help us solve percent word problems. Before you check this out, we invite you to check out our other uh, video, which is just solving percent problems with tape diagrams. That's a great intro video to this, but let's dive right in. So our first question, right, is a word problem, obviously, and it says, the question says, how many students voted for the athlete? So our statement is going to say, sorry, blank students voted for the athlete. Now, because I wrote this statement, right, I can look for anything about students, right, or any other important information. So this is important. It says 25% of the students. So I want to circle that. I always like to underline this word of when it's after a fraction, decimal, or percent. And then of the students uh, voted for a famous athlete. There are 88 students in the school. How many students voted for the athlete? Now, I can see in my word problem right here that this said 25% of the students. And later it told me that there are 88 students. So really we can say that 25% of 88 voted for the athlete. So we're gonna use our fraction model here to, and choose to view percents as fractions. Okay, so here's my fraction model. I know that I have 88 students total. And again, I'm looking for 25%. So 25% is a benchmark percentage. We wanna know right off the bat that obviously that is 25 per 100. And then we can simplify that to one fourth. So we don't need to draw 100 pieces for our tape diagram. We can just draw four equal pieces because we've simplified 2,500. And now we're looking, okay, 88 split into four equal groups. Obviously that's division, okay? So if I don't know off the top of my head, that's fine. I can come over here and just divide really quickly, okay? And use my standard algorithm to help me out. We have two right here nothing left over. So I know that there are going to be 22 students in each group. So I wanted to know 25%, right? So these voted for my athlete. So these people voted for my famous athlete, which means these people did not, right? And so it's always kind of important to label all your pieces of your tape diagram to help you out, especially when it's a word problem. And I know that I'm looking for this part right here, right? This 25% which when I look at my tape diagram, 25%, or in other words, one fourth of 88 was 22. So I can say that 22 students voted for the athlete. Let's take a look at another one, a little bit more difficult. So it says Cooper scored 12 goals this year in soccer. He scored on 40% of his shots. How many shots did he attempt? So my statement's gonna say he attempted blank shots know that I'm looking for anything about shots, right? And so I know that shots are goals, so I'm gonna circle this. So he scored 12 goals. He scored on 40%. Again, I like to underline this word of when it's after a percent, a fraction, or a decimal. Of his shots, how many shots did he attempt? Oh, sorry, I forgot to identify this. So for this one, we know how many he scored. We know that that is a percentage of something but we don't know the total amount of shots that he attempted. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram, okay? But for this one, it gave me different pieces. I don't know the total. I'm looking for the total shots he attempted. So my question mark is gonna go right there. I do know that he scored 12 and that that was 40%. So again, I'm going to use my simplifying skills, right? To view this as four tenths which means I'm going to split this into 10 equal pieces. I might need to fix my tape diagram because I'm not very good sometimes at estimating how big they should be. I think that's pretty good. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and I need to fix that. All right, like magic, it's fixed. So now I need to think about what I know. I know that he scored 12 goals, right? And these 12 goals, were 40% or four tenths of that, right? So 12 goals was 40% of his total. So I know that 12 is going to go into these four equal pieces. So I'm gonna use my division skills, right? What is 12 divided by four? Three, which means each of these pieces is worth three. And because I know this is a fraction model and fractions and percents are equal parts, 
I know that each one of these also has to be three, right? And so now I've used my percent knowledge and my visual tape diagram to help me figure out that three go into each group. So if I have 10 groups of three, I know that he attempted 30 shots, right? And so I've used my tape diagram and the skills I used in my last question to actually kind of work backwards. And this time they gave me my percent and my um, amount that that percent was, but they didn't give me the total. So how many shots did he attempt? 30. Let's take a look at one more. So this one gets into kind of the next level of these questions, which is percent for sales tax, right? So how much did she pay in total for the TV? Maddie paid blank dollars total for the TV. So I know that I'm looking for anything about money, okay? Percent for sales tax, and I want to know all together how much should she pay for the TV, okay? So I know that she bought a TV for 450 okay? So this is my first thing. I need to figure out what is my sales tax, right? So I'm going to draw my fraction model here, okay? And I'm going to put my 450 at the end because I know that was my total. And I know that this is 3%, which is really 3 out of 100 now, I can't simplify this, and I really don't want to spend my entire day trying to break this into 100 even pieces. So I'm actually going to steal from what the part whole model for this question and not draw all 100, but draw as many equal pieces as I can first, okay? And again, fractions should be equal, as equal as possible. And then instead of doing 100, I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, five dot 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 100 right so if i split up 450 into 100 equal pieces right and then i had three of those pieces okay and again this this line is not three percent of my whole tape diagram because i had my little ellipsis right here right and so this is my sales tax right here Okay, it was 3% of 450. So I need to split 450 into 100 equal pieces, right? And so you're going to divide 450 divided by 100. This is just kind of an easy, um, an easy division problem right here. So I'm dividing by 100, which means I need to move my, place, my decimal two places to the left. And your answer is $4.50, right? So I know that 1% was $4.50 and this percent was $4.50, and this one was $4.50, and each of my pieces was $4.50, okay? I'm going to skip this because this is group 6 through 99, so that's not $4.50, it's a lot more. So my sales tax was three groups of $4.50, uh, so I know together that's nine, right? And then if I add another group, I have $13.50 is my sales tax. Now, the question did not ask you for the sales tax, right? The question asked you for how much did they pay total. So really, you would want to draw another part whole tape diagram for this, right? And add your $13.50 to your $450. But just for the sake of this, we can go ahead and skip that. Okay, and when we add these together, we line our decimals up, which helps us line our place values up. And all together, Maddie paid $463.50, the $450 plus the 3% sales tax. So you can use this little trick right here. Instead of drawing 100 tape die or 100 pieces, if you have to draw 100, if you can't simplify the fraction into something easier like one fourth, like we did for 25%, go ahead and draw your couple and then put your dot, dot, dot and put your 100 so that way you're showing that you know you're taking 450 and dividing it into uh, 100 pieces, right, or 100 pieces. Hopefully this helped you out. As always, please check out our other videos at Instruct the Beats Official. We would love for you to subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats or email us at instructthebeats at gmail.com. Instruct the Beats, out!